Cruiser Air 28 SE Premier Edition here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. That Premier package is going to upgrade a handful of things, such as the automotive painted nose cap, LED lighting inside, a handful of things as we go through here. I'll try to point out those uh, upgrades as we go. So keep in mind, not every single 28 SE we have is going to be equipped exactly like this one. This is just a generic video for stock footage and educational purposes. Um, who is Cruiser? That's a question we get a lot. They are one of the best built fifth wheels I've ever seen. These things just don't come back with problems. They're built like a, just a, like a brick house. In this class, typically what you find is inch and a half sidewalls. Cruiser's still running a full two inch sidewall. That's one of the reasons we don't have problems. They have 25% more structure and insulation in these walls. Um, that insulation uh, continues down through the floor where they have a fully enclosed heated insulated underbelly. You know, great extended season uh, RV. Um, half ton towable for proper half tons and a, a lot of uh, higher end fifth wheel amenities on a, a mid-level fifth wheel here for instance we've got the nicer bus style slam latch baggage doors and you notice that they're magnetically latched so they're up they're out of the way you don't have to duck under them these baggage doors are also a little bit heavy they're uh, they're fully insulated that's a really good thing that means that the heat you know that you're pumping into your interior or your air conditioning as it were isn't just spilling out the side and notice they even seal the hinges on these big doors so they don't you know fall apart over time they give you a good wide baggage compartment it's just tall enough you know it's exactly what you need it's not more than you need these big tall uh, compartments you find on a lot of giant fifth wheels they're it's like it's a waste they're too big in a sense um, just to uh, show you real quick I did mention the underbelly enclosure I say enclosed I really should say sealed you see these silver bands the way they band that in place there's there's no way to for that thing to ever sag or drip or anything like that the way they bracket that in place it's not going anywhere one of the things i like about these too is they have a very generously sized front compartment not only do we have that big passer we have a big front as well and a battery disconnect so uh your uh, refrigerator and your tv and all this stuff all these fancy electronics they don't turn off they go into standby mode and they go down to low power use not no power use and long story short you know they can still use sometimes up to as much as 40 percent of their normal peak operating power that'll sap your battery dry if you're not paying attention um your slide outs here they have a proprietary um slide seal system they have a patent pending on it so no one else has it this flange is extra wide so that this seal actually brackets right over top of this one they have a double seal system when this thing is in place actually more than that because of the wiper seals so long story short when you're in transit when you're in storage this thing has a significantly reduced opportunity for failure as a result and i'm sure you've noticed from all the sunshine and whatnot this has a true high gloss exterior which is very uncommon in this class usually what you get is stuff called phylon which is still fiberglass but you can see the fibers in the wall very windy today i'm trying to block the camera where i can all uh, centrally located, um, handy outside utility station here. You know, all of your um, dump gate valves are here. You've got a uh, black tank flush, uh, outside shower, all your utility stuff in one spot. I like it when it's in one spot, not when it's scattered around the trailer, which seems to be kind of commonplace anymore. It used to be the exception. Now it's just sort of like, oh, well, we'll put that where we can when we think about it. Roof ladder will get you up to the fully walkable roof, built again like a son of a gun. The the, the construction on these, I can't say enough. Um, your uh, roof line, speaking of construction, you see how it wraps over the side. That takes one of your most critical potential failure points where the roof meets the wall and it moves it to an extremely low stress point. That means that, again, the opportunity for catastrophic failure is greatly reduced. Uh, premier package thing, we have upgraded to uh, power rear stabilizer jack, so everything on this is push button easy. And something I forgot to talk about previously was the Equiflex suspension system between these aluminum wheels here. That's a rubber shock dampener system. Every moving part can be uh, lubricated. Once again, the whole idea being superior performance and longevity. We also like to put a uh, accessory receiver hitch on the back here in case you want to add a bike. And there is a propane quick connect at the corner of that rear bumper. You see that white tag hanging down. That's where that's located. Um, all your windows with the exception of these tall thin vertical windows will open for cross breeze so you get some amazing cross ventilation in here they use a different uh, window seal system on these that once again just doesn't fail you know i i guess nothing's 100 percent guaranteed but this is as close as it'll get we also have a wider entry door in these so it is uh easier come easier go and by the way this beauty comes in 8750 8750 pounds 
Um, when you uh, walk in here, you've got nice LED lighting. Very good quality, and it just really sparks it to life in here. Now, the LED lighting is part of that Premiere Edition, something I'm a big fan of personally. Let's just start here and start working around because we got a lot to cover. Um, this, by the way, is called the Espresso Decor. It's a darker leatherette with lighter cloth accent tones. And remember that the one that we have in stock might be different from the video that you see here. There's also cappuccino, which is a mid-tone, and latte, which is a, a very light cream-type color. Everything's coffee-themed. Um, uh, let's just get started. Right here in the kitchen, we have a real backsplash. And that is sharp looking, it's easy to clean, and uh, you're going to find extra power outlets all over the place in here. Speaking of which, while we're in the kitchen, we have uh, upgraded solid surface countertops as well. I believe part of that Premier package once again. Great cabinet space from amazing cabinet makers down there. We don't have cabinet problems in our cruisers, we just don't. Um, you'll notice too that your cabinet doors are nicer. All hardwood. Um, Spinning around here, refrigerator is 33% larger. That's an 8 cubic foot instead of a 6. Uh, again, in this class, you'll typically standard find a smaller refrigerator. This is a trifold memory foam hide-a-bed sleeper sofa. Um, very, you know, awesome for sleeping extra guests. Now, this is obviously a couple's camper. Every now and then, though, you may have that occasional grandkid or, or adult friend who comes over, and maybe you guys are just having a good time. Maybe they just don't need to drive home tonight, you know? This is a nice place they can crash and not really feel like they just got thrown on a sofa. It's pretty comfy, actually. Um, all of your overhead doors are strutted so that they will hold themselves open. It's just easier to get to. The uh, all Again, all lighting, even your little spotlights here, uh, LEDs. Um, twin recliners in the back, and uh, they uh, uh, are very comfy themselves, kind of like the sofa. This is uh, Black Label Furniture is the name brand of it. It's, it's very comfy stuff. As far as I can tell, it's it's like the uh, the same grade as the uh, Williamsburg furniture that you find all over the place. It's just the brand that you don't have to pay advertising money for. Now, anywhere that you sit or sleep, you're going to find power outlets in here. You'll find outlets all over the place. There's four just in the living room area before we even get to the kitchen. Um, let's look at our dinette table here. This We've swapped from a booth to a freestanding table. Now, you get four freestanding chairs. The table does have an extension on it so that if you need extra room, you got it. Not to mention we've got the handy little, what I call, Monopoly box back here. Perfect little place to store extra stuff like that. Just nice little touches too, like your ceiling light fixture here. Just has a little wall switch, you know. Entertainment Center is uh, in the slide on an angle, which is my personal preference because no matter where you're at, everybody gets a good shot at the screen if it's, you know, game day or something like that. Now next to this, we have uh, a pair of big, tall cabinets. Now, you see how there's two shelves in here? They're adjustable. Same as down here, there's two shelves just kind of resting against the floor. They let them put you, uh, they let you put them wherever you want. Your TV is mounted on a big swing arm, so it can face anywhere you want, anytime you want. You don't need to bring X electronics because the Denson DVD player here is also Bluetooth enabled and CD and stereo and every other thing. But they do leave you big room to bring extra stuff if you are so inclined. Uh, fireplace, electric space heating fireplace, and uh, great in the spring and the fall. You can heat your camper with the electricity you've already purchased at your campsite instead of burning up the propane you now have to pay to replace. That's why I like those. They do a great job, too. Um, your kitchen space here, just to give you the, uh, the bigger, fuller look at it, they have drawers everywhere. They have drawer space all over the place, especially the things I note, extra drawers under the stove and under the refrigerator where they tend to just leave dead pockets in the RV industry. A lot of times they don't utilize that space. Every single thing they build costs another dollar. You know, that's that's the, the way that the, the whole industry works, is that they're, everyone is super competitive. Because of the internet, uh, you know, they're now competing against everybody, not just local suppliers. So they have to make sure that they're on the ball. Well, that, you know, some people will shop for something that's 15 bucks cheaper because it didn't have these two drawers. But they don't care that it didn't have the two drawers. I care that it has the two drawers because I intend to actually use an RV, not just purchase one, you know. Um... One thing I forgot to mention, though, is this handy little charge station right here. You've got your uh, residential outlets as well as, you know, USB and 12-volt uh, lighter plugs there. And you've got twin outlets on each side of the sink, so you can actually run a lot of... I mean, you can have a, a coffee maker, blender, griddle, all going at the same time in here. Um, <clears throat> moving upstairs. One thing I did like is that we have this dedicated hallway light. 
that's just a nice little touch. You don't think about that stuff when you're just shopping for an RV, but you sure think about that stuff when you're getting ready to use one. We have a porcelain foot flush stool. That's the wedding ring test, by the way. Um, sitting across from a very generous amount of bathroom cabinet space in here. So you can actually keep this thing packed up pretty good with all your bathroom stuff. Not to mention, we have a double vanity. We have a double medicine cabinet. So all of your shavers and toothpaste and toothbrush and all that can be separated. What I kind of like about it is it sort of has like a his and a hers thing going on here. And we have this big walk-in shower. Um, but there's just enough lip on it. If you do have like one of the grandbabies over and uh, you need to hose them off or something like that, there's just enough of a lip on here to give them a quick bath. But you don't have that big, you know, 12-inch uh, uh, leap to get over. And uh, I do also like to point out, this is a, a full walk-in uh, bathroom and upstairs here. So you're not going to have headroom issues in here. Also worth noting, we actually have linen space here in the bathroom, which is something that a lot of, you know, RVs today just seem to forego. My guess is just to save that extra dollar or two, but again, I'll take space and storage over no space and storage every day of the week. Sliding privacy door here for mom and dad or grandpa and grandma or whoever happens to be camping, I suppose. I love the underbed storage arrangement on here. They have these drawers that pull out so that when the bed is down, is you can still get to them. It's, it's a very easy functional space that you're actually going to enjoy. Your bedding in here, this is a true 60 by 80 queen. And it's an uh, iCool mattress, iCool sleep systems here. It's like a, a gel top, basically. They're extremely comfortable, and they, they breathe really well. Like, I tend to get really hot when I sleep. These breathe really well, and they would help people like me. Um, although it's a little dark against this headboard, they accent color this to help it feel a little bit deeper here. Um, there are power outlets on both sides of the bed, as well as drawers here. So, uh, folks with CPAP machines, or if you just like to charge your phones at night, you're all set. This is a 50 amp service coach that might be an upgrade we put on this one. I, I'll have to double check my spec sheet. Years past it was. But this particular coach in this video has the ability to have a second air conditioner added to it. Um, you know, that's the whole point of a 50 amp service. What's cool is I can still use this on any 30 amp site. It takes a $9 plug adapter and, uh, you know, go to town. You can go to any 30 amp site here, but this gives you the option of that second air. Now, this is a bedroom closet slide. This whole closet, all this storage is in the slide and off the floor plan. And just like in the living room, these are adjustable shelves right here. Those are fixed, so you can put heavy stuff like pack them full of jeans and whatnot. These shelves are floating, so you can make them go up or down or around or any other way that you please uh, to customize your storage to your needs. Flat screen availability on the wall here, and that pretty much sums us up, so give us a call. 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping everybody, have a great time.